positivity is something that you just cannot go and attend a motivational session and come back as positivity is an art is a state of being and how do you be positive when you are positive you you emit a different light you have a different aura the people like to sit with you absorb your light you become a sun in your own atmosphere in your own uh, energy zone so you know when when women i'm sure there are a lot of women here in this but men are also very conscious you all are young men from 18 to 40 as i heard so we all are very particular about our skin you know the quality of the skin the glow of the skin uh, the the youth of the skin so what do we do the the basic process of managing your skin is it needs to be cleansed so you need to wash your skin two times a day to make it clean you need to do toning of your skin so sometimes people apply watermelon juice or they men put after shave after shaving their skin it's for toning the skin that means you tighten your skin when the pores are open the third part is you moisturize your skin that means you fill your skin with good vitamins minerals and stuff to make it more supple youthful we do so much for our skin similarly we do it for our body also a lot of you are i'm sure going to gym or exercising in gymming also first we need to shed extra weight then whatever loose skin we have we need to tighten it up we need to do toning and then the last part comes where you shape up your body you know you want muscles you want expanded chest you need good legs and you do you put effort in that area we do we do a lot of effort of cleansing for our skin for our body what do you do for your mind and if you don't do it for your mind how do you expect to remain positive if you're doing nothing about it our brain our pattern of thinking is like a common field it's like a field you know it's like a maidan jis par hum kheti karte hain it's like a agriculture land so agar agriculture land bahut samay se khali hai the land is vacant since long so us par weeds aa jate hain unwanted plants aa jate hain what do you do what is the process of actually yielding crops is first you take the weeds off hum usko clean karte hain you remove the weeds from the land then you do the plowing hum usko khodte hain you sow the seeds you water it every day you let the natural light be there and you make sure the 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 weeds and the plants the unwanted animals don't come and then the finally the crop is there to be yielded and then you actually harvest the plant exactly similarly is how we as human beings are also designed what do we do for our mind you know when people talk about success and i'm talking about people who are really powerful they're very successful actually they have no rules or no principles for success and there are no rules and principles for success they cannot be but the way we are designed we feel money is bad if you have too much of money you will have fights in the family if you have money you lose link with the relationships if you have money you become too indulgent you know you become too uh, insensitive towards other people you, money makes you arrogant how many of you have similar belief system like that how many of you have similar belief system related to success that success makes you arrogant it makes you cut off from your family it makes you cut off from the society you you become more you become more power freak so there are a lot of wrong belief system that we have related to money to success that is the thing that needs to be cleaned this is the cleansing process of mind for us to remain positive as a person when i talk of success the indian system of success the indian system of spirituality was never about success is is bad with power power is is something that we have wrong definitions of oh this man wants to be powerful then he has to be manipulative he has to be cunning he has to that thoughts to success in life that's not true in our culture we as hindus or even if you believe in any other culture you know the sanatan dharma the 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 religion or the culture that we had or adapted 10000 years back was about rishis now rishis were considered very high so devtas and rishis had fight one to one so rishis mean the the purest form of human kind or the elevated form of human kind and devtas are are somebody who had three elements i'm going to make it merry quick and crisp for you so devtas 
had n number of wives they had you know fights related to who will possess the seat of swarg they had apsaras they had somras which is definitely not alcohol no somras is not alcohol somras is droplets som is moon and ras means juice so juice of moon droplets of moon collected on herbs plants lotuses collected together and have it as a nectar for your longevity is called somras it is not called alcohol so the point here to understand is that power and success is something that devatas always had now why am i saying that kamdhenu gao kamdhenu cow is the cow that can give you anything was with devatas and later on came durishis similarly lakshmi lakshmi ma is a devi she is powerful she is successful she sits on a lotus and she is epitome of success we all do lakshmi puja but the moment we talk about success we have a separate idea of success success is exactly what ma lakshmi is you have ever seen ma lakshmi in black or in white clothes probably you will never see her in black on white she is usually in red we see her in red bright pink that is the color of your base chakra root chakra so let me explain it to you that ma lakshmi denotes root chakra that is confidence she is about success because she creates wealth she sits on a lotus that means she she rises from a dirty pond but she is non indulgent so there is no drop of dirt on lotus ever so you you can have all the prosperity but you should know how to detach when and how you need it similarly success means that you need to be confident success means that you need to be surrendered to a person who's called palanha to vishnu she is the only goddess who presses feet of vishnu right no other goddess does that so you need to be surrendered to a person who is the maintainer of the world so money goes into the maintenance that is why she is called chanchala that means somebody who is not stable money is also not stable you give few lakhs to your wife and see how is it after 2 hours so what do we do to become more successful what do we do to attract more success in life there are few things we need to balance be with puja right and how do we do puja we light a diya we light a dhoop we keep some fruits we keep some flowers and then we have uh, you know a, a, a little mantra chanting happening and, and we keep a small kalash of water what does this symbolize and how do we incorporate in our lives this is the secret of success and prosperity that we do every day but we don't know why do we do it this is the success of how to attract people also let me explain it to you you keep water in front of your puja whether it's your christian or your muslim or a hindu or a sikh you all keep water in your puja water means water element these are the ones that you can hold your emotions so what you do is i hold my emotions in a container and there i place in front of you so if you balance your water element you will always balance your emotions as a person next thing you do is you place little flowers and you place little fruits there jab hum kisi ko aashirwad dete hain when we give a boon to somebody somebody touching your feet aapki dadi bolti hogi your grandmother would say that beta phoolo phalo right we have heard that people saying phoolo phalo so phoolo phalo that means that you blossom like a flower and you will get fruits of your effort like a fruit so phool and fruit are actually earth element that is what we place in puja that i get i blossom and roots of my effort to phal acha nahi lagta phal meetha hota hai that is why we place flowers and fruits in front of god to balance our earth element how do you balance your earth element you balance your earth element by maintaining your integrity when you say something and you maintain it you stick on your words is how you balance your earth element when you are stable in life maine kuch keh diya and i stick on to it is balancing my earth element that is the symbol of flowers and fruits keeping flowers in your home not in the way of cut flowers you can always have them but having flowers in your home brings prosperity in the house flowers placed in southeast direction bring prosperity in liquid cash because southeast is the direction of fire 
fire means fire element means ma lakshmi she is the one who gives confidence and wealth so if you have lot of flowers in the south east of your home that represents that your fire element is strong so how do you balance and keep fruits in the home think fruits now this is one of the beautiful practice that people internationally in west in israel in india also have keeping a bowl of fresh fruits fresh fruit that gives fertility is pomegranate anar one seed create another tree and one tree creates thousands of the fruit and one fruit again has thousands of seeds that is what the formula of multiplication is that is what the formula of ma lakshmi is keeping pomegranate anar in your dining area in the south direction brings fame prosperity in the house the fourth thing that you place in a puja or fourth thing that you place in front of your deity for prosperity for success is you light a lamp you light a lamp because you give them clarity in life you can't give clarity to gods you give clarity to your own self what do you do when there is sudden light off or there's no electricity you light a candle right for clarity for visibility similarly when your fire element is strong in you nothing can stop you from being more successful how do you create more fire in you by having more stronger metabolic rate now for creating more stronger metabolic rate we drink hot water we drink green tea but creating more fire in your mind is the only thing you do or you can do is meditation meditation and medication comes from the same root when i talk about meditation lot of people get scared and they want to run away from the situation saying mujh se meditation nahi hota hai listening to any chant watching a cricket match cooking a dish getting absorbed in the whole act is actually meditation if you can get absorbed in creating pointers for your meeting if you can get absorbed in sitting and chatting with your friends where you're not concerned where your phone is if you are absorbed in watching a video you're actually meditating start with this minute thing to create more fire energy in you when you have more fire in you people can't take their eyes off you and you have more powers to to face things you know in 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 a more in a more pleasantry way you become more attractive you become more passionate about things the fourth thing that you place in a in a puja or in a altar is air element you light a dhoop you light a agarbatti when you light a dhoop or you light a agarbatti it's amazing fragrance when you talk and you create fragrance people remember your words that means your air element is strong when you touch lives your communication is impactful you are able to touch people's life your words air elements i say something there is no substantial thing coming out you know koi fruit nahi aa raha hai bahar but when you say something the the communication is air element you throw air out right so when your communication is strong that means your air element is balanced to balance it always create beautiful fragrance around you when you meeting people you should always have amazing fragrance around you when i talk about fragrance people think perfume is a fragrance it has alcohol content in it alcohol based perfumes if they are not oil based if they are not ethyl or if they are not oil based perfumes then it is not called the true fragrance that we are talking about fragrance needs to be absorbed in your skin it has to go down in your skin to elevate and change your mood it is a complete science altogether but what i'm trying to tell you is that when you meet people you serve them food you give them something sweet you balance your earth element when you meet people you offer them water or you have water element or a sound of water in your workplace you balance your water element you connect emotionally with people when you have amazing fragrance around it or camp for burning around it you balance your air element your communication will be much more stronger when you balance and keep you know a little candle or a little incense burning you balance your fire element you will be more attractive similarly when you keep all these things in your work palace place you create more atmosphere for success because you create it with an environment of balancing your elements right now there are certain other things that we need to understand that when you change your belief systems when you want 
to create a new paradigm set of success you need to write it down every day if you write anything with red pen 108 times so that it becomes monotonous and you keep writing and you start feeling sleepy in it that means your subconscious mind is absorbing that that thought so your success if you want to earn x number of money you want to be successful write it down every day with red color pen red is the color of energy write it down while you're about to sleep because your subconscious mind is open to absorb it write it down more than 108 times so that it becomes monotonous and your subconscious mind absorbs it by doing these little things you train your mind to be more successful be more happy be more powerful